All right. Well, now we have uh, an exercise here that we need to look at within the context of some of the things that, that we've talked about. And uh, if you've missed some of the other videos, um, you know, that's okay. One of the things that we say as far as current trends in managerial accounting is that fixed costs are becoming a, a greater and greater portion of total costs. And we have a scenario here that deals with this. And so this is a, a question uh, based upon what we would call uh, automatic versus manual processing. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and underline that. And the idea here is, is that with uh, automated, uh, automatic uh, processing, we're going to incur higher fixed costs. And with manual processing, well, we're getting more labor uh, intensive. And so a uh, larger percentage of our costs are going to be uh, direct labor here versus with the automatic processing. So we've got a kind of a long drawn out scenario here. And then a number of requirements uh, to consider, okay, and this is, you know, this is, um, this kind of is going to lead into one of our next uh, topics as far as uh, decision making and incremental analysis and those types of things uh, that we'll be getting to shortly. But for now, we're just trying to uh, make a business decision. So we have this company, Bartels, and they operate an in-store printing service for customers who have uh, digital cameras. So eh, maybe a little bit dated question. The current service, which requires employees to download photos uh, from customer cameras, has monthly operating cost of $5,500 plus 15 cents per photo printed. Okay. So what we want to recognize here is that these operating costs of $5,500, uh, it doesn't tell us this, but it will certainly help us, is if we think of these as a fixed cost. Now, operating costs of $5,500, we don't know that that's a, a fixed cost for sure, uh, but it will help us if we think about that. Plus 15 cents per photo printed. Now, we can definitely go ahead and think of this as a variable cost. Management is evaluating the desirability, economic desirability, of acquiring a machine that will allow customers to download and make prints without employee assistance. Okay, If the machine is acquired, the monthly fixed cost will increase to $7,000. So evidently these $5,500 here are fixed even though they don't tell us that. Uh, up here, but they say fixed costs will increase to 7000 so that's clear that these are both fixed costs. And variable costs of printing a photo will decline to $0.05 cents per photo. Was $0.15, cents, now it's $0.05 cents variable cost per photo. So the first thing it says, uh, determine the uh, total cost of printing 10000 and 25,000 photos uh, per month. And so we can do that fairly easily. And, and so number one says, with the current uh, employee assisted process. So all we have to do is take our uh, total cost formula, and we looked at that a couple videos back. $5,500 is going to be our fixed cost amount and what we're going to do is we're going to add that to our variable cost per unit of 0.15 times volume. And the first volume that they wanted us to look at was 10,000. Okay, so we don't have a lot of room here to work with, but we've got 10,000 photos times 0.15 gives us $1,500, and then that's, the, that's just this part right here. We're going to, because I don't have a lot of space, I'm going to just go ahead and then add this 5,500, and that's going to give me $7,000 at a volume 
of 10,000 photos. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for 25,000 photos. I'm going to go ahead and, and plot my $5,500 in fixed cost plus variable cost per unit. I've got a little bit more room over here, so I'm going to write this out of 0.15 times output which in this case is going to be now 25,000 okay so we just take our 25,000 photos times the variable cost component of 15 cents per photo and that gives us 3750 and then we're going to do the same thing we're going to add our fixed cost So we actually have two answers for this. Okay. And then with the uh, proposed customer self-service process, one thing I want to point out is we are ignoring here uh, the cost of any new machinery or anything like that. We're ignoring that. So our new fixed costs are 7000 and we are merely multiplying $0.05 cents times 10000 Okay, and five cents times ten thousand photos is five. Uh, let's see, I think I messed that up. Give me one second. Point zero five times. Uh, let's see here. Times ten thousand is five hundred. And interestingly, I need to squeeze in another zero there. There we go. Okay, so $500 is our variable cost component. Again, $0.05 cents times 10,000 photos plus our 7,000 equals $7,500. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing for a volume of 25,000 uh, photos with the... Um, let me get that little plus sign in there too. Plus the variable cost per unit of five cents times twenty-five thousand, and that's going to produce some number. Let's get rid of this seventy-five hundred. So five cents variable cost per photo times twenty-five thousand output. Let's see, this is our output, 25,000 units. So 1,250, and then we have to add our fixed cost of 7,000. So what does this tell us? It tells us that, and this makes sense, right? This, this reinforces what we've talked about. Clearly, our per unit cost initially is higher with the automatic process because we're incurring higher fixed costs. And so when output is lower, fixed cost per unit goes up even though the fixed cost in both scenarios is uh, constant. So notice at 10,000 units, we're actually better off with the old process. But when we increase output, 25,000 photos per month, it's very clear that we're going to do much better with the uh, automated uh, process. Okay, And then there's a, a B requirement here, and it says determine the monthly volume at which the proposed process uh, becomes preferable to the current process. So at what point does the automatic process become preferable to the uh, manual processing? So if we want to figure this out, what we're going to do is we're going to take, um, I'm just, I'll write this out. Uh, let's see here. New fixed cost minus old fixed cost. Okay, 
and we're going to divide that by, I'm going to actually write a division sign here, uh, and I'm going to write this in a certain way so that all of my numbers are positive. Old variable cost per unit minus new variable cost per unit. So I'm going to replace this. Let's see here. We're talking about 7,000 minus 5,500. Okay. Divided by, oh, and then there's one thing we need to do, and we need to say plus one over here. Um, <clears throat> So 77,000 new uh, fixed costs minus 5,500 uh, old fixed costs divided by 0.15 minus 0 0.05 plus 1. I'll tell you about this in a minute. So we've got 1,500 divided by 10 cents is going to give us 15,000 and then we're going to add one unit to it. And so our answer, whoops, no dollar sign, no dollar sign. Ugh, trying everything I can to confuse you. Okay. So let's look at how we got there real quickly, and then we'll wrap this up. We had um, old fixed cost of 5,500 and new fixed cost of 7,000. So that's what we have right here, and that produces a difference of $1,500. So fixed costs are $1,500 more per month. We have a savings on our variable uh, cost per unit of 10 cents. And so if we divide this 1500 by 10 cents, we get 15,000 units. But the question says, at what volume level um, is the proposed process preferable? At 15,000 units, it doesn't make any difference. That's why we have to add one unit. Okay. So at 15,001 units, we make whatever profit we were making before plus 10 cents. Okay. So this is only looking at, you know, you say, well, wait a minute now. Might, I might have to get rid of some employees and that's not good for uh, morale and all of this kind of stuff. And that's absolutely a, a fair uh, comment. Now, if we're at 25,000 volume, um, that's easier to make that justification. All we're looking at here is what is the answer quantitatively to make the new process, what is it going to take? Because remember, at 10,000 units, the old process is preferable. And at 25,000 units, the new process is clearly preferable in terms of cost. But at what point do we meet and then the new process is better? Old fix, I'm sorry, new fixed cost minus old fixed cost divided by uh, old variable cost per unit minus new variable cost per unit. And then we're going to add one to that and we're going to come up with an answer of 15,001 units. All right, that's it for this video.